What's up guys, my name's Brandon, and today we're going to be taking a look at all the new CarPlay features and changes in iOS 26. So if you have an iOS 26 iPhone and you plug it into your CarPlay, you will see a lot of very familiar changes that you see on your iPhone. So we're going to take a look at all of those new features and changes, and it's going to start with the liquid glass redesign. So as you can see, all of the icons have a slightly new look. So it's a lot more apparent on the iPhone, but you can can see it here on the CarPlay screen as well. So we do have liquid glass and you'll also notice that I have dark icons and that can actually be adjusted in the settings now. So if you go into settings, which settings also has a new look, you also notice more rounded corners throughout the UI on CarPlay, very similar to what you see on your iPhone with iOS 26. But we also have a brand new option here for customized icons. And when you go into that, you have the default icons, what you've been used to. You have dark mode icons where you can set them to be always dark or automatic based on the time of day. And then we also have clear icons, just like you see on the iPhone again with the option for light dark or auto I'm gonna stick with dark mode always right now but you can adjust that anytime you want very easily now let's head back to the home screen because we have a pretty major change with CarPlay here with iOS 26 so we have this screen right here and we do have live activities now on iOS 26 with CarPlay which is amazing if you're picking up some food from somewhere like Starbucks or Chick-fil-A it will now show down there you know when your order is gonna be ready so you don't even have to look at your iPhone so that's pretty awesome but if we swipe over one more time you can see that now on CarPlay for the first time we have customizable widgets and by default you can see you can just scroll up and down through these different widgets but you can also customize this on your iPhone. So if you go into your iPhone and then go into settings and then go into general and then go down to CarPlay and select your car, you will see that under customize, we now have apps and widgets. And if you go into widgets, we have a kill switch for the widgets. We have the widgets right here. You could also reorder these by dragging on the right side of it. And then we also down here have smart rotate widget suggestions, and the option to show wallpaper or hide the wallpaper if you just want it to be black. But the cool thing about this is that it will update in real time. So if I go to add a widget here, so you can see you can even do third party ones like Instagram, Night Sky, we have things like Spotify, Notion, all of that right there. So I'm going to add a weather widget here. So we'll just add the carrot weather widget. And you can see you have different options just like you have on the iPhone. So we'll do something like this right here. So we'll add that widget. And now if we scroll down, you will see that it will show the carrot widget right there with the precipitation percentages by hour. And all of these widgets have a really translucent look to them as well. You can see it has a little black bar at first, but then it kind of fades away and it just blends in with the background. Now you can only have five widgets at a time, but it is really nice that you have the option to customize them and add third party widgets as well. And I do also like smart rotate, which is good because it will rotate again, depending on your location and or the time. And if you go back in your settings and go to the apps under customize, this is where you can remove certain applications if you don't want them showing up in CarPlay. And by the way, I would highly recommend adding a HomeKit widget if you do have HomeKit enabled devices. Like if you have a garage door, a lock, things like that, like I do, you should definitely add that. So now you can see that I can control all these different things straight from my car. So if I want to turn on, you know, uh, my lines, my, my lights in my office, if I want to unlock the front door, open the garage, all that's right there without the need to access my phone. So that is extremely convenient to have on the CarPlay screen. And if we go back to the page before that, we do have live activities down here on CarPlay, which is really nice. So if you have, you know, flighty, if you're going to catch a flight, you can see your flight details right there. You also have, you know, live precipitation alerts. You have Uber Eats, sports scores. You can see all that with live activities now on CarPlay. And if you, for some reason, do not want live activities in CarPlay, you can turn that off. So in settings, we have a new option now if we go down right here for live activities. So you can disable that if you do not like that for some reason. Okay, so now let's talk about the Maps application because just like with the iPhone, we have some really useful new Maps features in CarPlay, pretty much an area where you're gonna use the Maps app a lot more than most other apps. So we now have on-device intelligence to understand your traffic 
travel patterns, just like on the iPhone. So basically, you'll be warned about traffic or delays before you even leave, and it will offer you an alternate route if you go in here and start trying to navigate to a location. And although my head unit does not support it, some head units will now support pinch to zoom in maps. You will be able to do the pinch to zoom just like you can on the iPhone. And if you are navigating in the maps application, first off, you can see everything's more rounded now. We also have that liquid glass design down here with where your ETA is. But now if you report an incident on the road, you have more options. So not only do you have crash, speed check, and traffic, but you also have different things like road closures, hazard, and road work that you can report now. Now there's also a feature inside of the display settings that a lot of people are going to love because you can see right here, it's actually disabled by default, but we now have smart display zoom. So it says CarPlay will be automatically optimized for your vehicle's display. So now if we enable that, it will kind of refresh itself and you can see that it will adjust and optimize for your specific head unit. It will not be stretched out like it was before. It will not be too zoomed in. It will now show it optimized for that display. And as you guys can tell, just from watching this video, it looks a lot better than it did before. And then right below display, we have accessibility. And in here, we have the ability to change the text size. So now you can change the text size from from default all the way up to 135%, which is great if you maybe had a hard time seeing the text on your CarPlay screen before. And then if we scroll down in the accessibility section and go down to hearing, we now have sound recognition. And if you turn this on, it will use on-device intelligence from your iPhone, and it will continuously listen to detect certain sounds, such as a car horn, a siren, or a baby crying, and it will give you a notification in in case you're maybe hard of hearing or you know you cannot hear very well so you can now enable that and it will let you know so you can maybe look in your rear view and see what's going on and while we're in here i may as well show you the wallpaper section as well so if you go into wallpapers you can see that we have our wallpaper ui right here and if you tap on the new wallpaper this is what it looks like you don't have any additional options you just have this right here you can't move it around or anything like that you just have the option to set it and that's it now let's go into the messages application because messages gets a nice update here with iOS 26 as well. So first off, you can see we have a new UI where we have our pinned conversations up at the top for easy access. Would you like to reply? And there's a new conversation UI right here as well. When you get a message and you can see after it reads out the message, you now have the option to tap back. So you can send a tap back right here. So if you tap on that, it will allow you to love, you know, a message. It will allow you to thumbs it up. haha, ha, All of that right here from this view. So we'll just do haha, ha, And now we just sent a tap back back to that message that was read out to us. There's also a new incoming call UI. So if you're getting an incoming call, it will now show up at the bottom right here in this you know, rounded off bar, and it's not going to take up the entire screen anymore. So this is much better than it was on iOS 18. Now, if we head into the music application, we have a few nice changes in here. So first off, we have a slightly new UI. We have that new tab bar up at the top, just like we see with iOS 26. And if we go into library, we now have our pinned playlists, albums, singles, whatever you have pinned will now show up here at the top. So you can easily access that. So if I want to easily access my playlist, there you go it goes right into there very easily. As you can see, this is what the music app looks like on iOS 18, and you can see how that compares to iOS 26. So iOS 26, a lot more full-fledged, like I said, it looks a lot more like the iPhone app now than it did before. And if we head into the podcast application and we go into a podcast, we'll just go into this one right here. You'll see right down here at the bottom, we have the turtle and the bunny, so we can adjust the playback speed and you can be more precise than you could before in iOS 18. As you can see in iOS 18, you just had to tap right here and it would just go through the different speeds from 0.75x all the way up to 2x and that was it. But now it's a lot more precise and you also have those new, two new glyph icons now down at the bottom. Also now with iOS 26, you can disable CarPlay screenshots. So if you go into your settings and then into general and then down here to screen capture, we have a new option for CarPlay screenshots. So you can disable that if you don't want to take a CarPlay screenshot when you're hooked up and you take a screenshot on your iPhone. And then also with CarPlay on iOS 26, you can now watch videos while your car is in park. So developers will need to add support for this in their applications, but it's actually now a possibility to watch videos on the CarPlay screen while in park 
with iOS 26. That is an awesome feature and I cannot wait to test that out myself. And I will be showing a demonstration of that once iOS 26 officially releases to the public and I have my hands on an application that is able to do that. So stay tuned. So that is CarPlay with iOS 26. Honestly, one of the biggest changes to CarPlay that we've seen in quite some time. It seems like it's been neglected for many years, but now we're actually getting some useful new features and changes, not just everything that's on the iPhone. So I'm a fan of that. Let me know what you think about CarPlay on iOS 26. Have you been enjoying it? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, let me know with a thumbs up and I will see you guys very soon.